this is the 14th time I address, am addressing the UN General Assembly. And this time, I have come here with a heavy heart. I have come here just after seeing the hungry, distressed, and hopeless Rohingyas from Myanmar who took shelter I mean, in Cox's Bazaar. This forcibly displaced people of Myanmar are fleeing an ethnic cleansing in their own country where they have been living for centuries. I can feel their pain as I, along with my younger sister, had been a refugee for six years after my father, the father of the nation of Bangladesh, Bangabandhu Sheikh Rahman, and almost all members of my family were assassinated in 1975. Hundreds of thousands of Rohingya from the Rakhine state are entering Bangladesh to flee violence. As estimated by the IOM, in the last three weeks, over 430,000 Rohingya entered Bangladesh. We are horrified to see that the Myanmar authorities are laying landmines along their stretch of the border to prevent the Rohingya from returning to Myanmar. These people must be able to return to their homeland in safety, security, and dignity. At the same time, I condemn all kinds of terrorism and violent extremism too. Our government maintains a zero-tolerance policy in this regard. In the 1971 War of Liberation, we endured an extreme form of genocide. In the nine-month-long War of Liberation against Pakistan, three million innocent people were killed and more than 200,000 women were violated. The Pakistan military launched the heinous Operation Searchlight on the 25th of March, which was the beginning of the 1971 genocide. The 1971 genocide included targeted elimination of individuals on the grounds of religion, race, and political belief. The intellectuals were killed brutally. To pay homage to the victims of the genocide, our national parliament recently declared the 25th of March as Genocide Day. In Bangladesh, we have already undertaken the daunting task of bringing the key perpetrators to justice through the International Crimes Tribunal. I urge the international community to take collective action to prevent recurrence of such heinous crimes anywhere, anytime. I believe recognition of past tragedies like the 1971 genocide would guide us to achieve never again. Mr. President, since our birth as a nation, we have pursued peace-centric domestic and foreign policies. 